guys are having such a great day. I actually just got back from the gym. I worked out so hard. I did 65 minutes of Stairmaster and I burned like over a thousand calories just on the Stairmaster. But before that, I did an hour long upper body workout and so my triceps and biceps are killing me right now. They're like soda, like I feel like really, really floppy. But anyways, I wanted to talk to you guys about World Autism Month because it is World Autism Month, the month of April. And for those of you that don't know what autism is, autism or autism spectrum disorder refers to a wide variety of conditions characterized by challenges like nonverbal communication, social skills, repetitive behavior, speech, as well as some unique strengths and differences. And there's not just one autism, but many types caused by different environmental and even genetic influences. Autism's most obvious signs um, are usually around ages two and three, and some can actually be diagnosed as early as 18 months. Most of you guys probably already know, uh, when we found out about Jerry, baby Jerry, it was about around the 18 or I would say me I kind of felt something was off around like 12 to 14 months but it wasn't like okay um, we need to get him evaluated uh, around 18 months and luckily we did and set up the appointment because it was like a six month waiting list when we lived in New Orleans he ended up being officially diagnosed at two years old I really feel like us catching it early and and putting him in early intervention like speech therapy occupational therapy even does some feeding therapy right now and just giving him so much love and attention I know has helped him improve like greatly I mean you guys see it on camera all the time he went from barely speaking to now he just he can't stop talking and forming long sentences and having back and forth conversations with me that I never thought he would be doing this early and I'm just so proud of him, how far he's come. I mean, around one third of people with autism remain nonverbal, and around one third of people with autism have an intellectual disability. Autism Speaks is dedicated to promoting solutions across the spectrum and throughout the lifespan for the needs of individuals with autism and their families through advocacy and support. And I would absolutely love for you guys to test your understanding of autism by taking the quiz down below. It's a short online quiz. I highly recommend you guys take the quiz in support of World Autism Month and light it up blue. Great vibes, we made it. Love you, life, we made it. I love you guys. What, Bubba's? I get sweat and cold. You're sweaty and then cold? Yeah. Yeah? Why'd you go lay down? Uh, I'm just I'm hot. You're hot? Yeah. Daddy just put on the air. You ready? Are you feeling better? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Oh. So Jerry um, was playing outside with his sister and he came inside. He said, I don't feel good. I want to take a nap. And now he says, I feel all better. My baby. I love him so much. And Jordan came up, Mommy, Jerry doesn't feel good. Oh, my babies. Gotta love them. We we at frozen yogurt. Frozen yogurt. Today they we had to had had to go hope is Bobby and me. Me. I both had Jerry bite it and Jordan bite it. Yeah. And Bobby cannot bite it. And mommy not biting it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jared, Jordan. Oh my gosh. I bite it. I share our yogurt. What? Mommy. I share our yogurt. Mommy. Yeah, okay. You can eat Jordan's. I can eat Jordan's? Yeah. I can eat some of yours? Yeah. Oh, my girl always shares with mommy. Yeah. Can no. mommy have some of Jerry's? No. <laughs> okay. I have some of Jordan's. Okay. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. That's my job. Oh, that's my girl. Bobby, I sit down.
Good job, Jordan. Ready? Good job. Good. And then E G E. Good job. Do it again. Good job. Do it again. Good job. Do this part. Oops. Let's hold it. One, two. One, two. Awesome. Which hand now? Finger three. Middle finger on C. Or, no. sorry, on A. Oh, yeah. I got it wrong. Awesome job! One, two, three, four. Good job.